Seismic analysis of reinforced concrete frame building with infill wall using A tabs. Abstract reinforced concrete frame building with masonry infill wall is a common construction practice in developing countries like India. Infill walls serve as partitions in buildings. Infill walls are typically considered as non structural elements and its strength and stiffness is not considered in the general design, such an approach may lead to unsafe design. This paper focuses on the study of the effect of masonry infill wall on RC frame building. Response spectrum method is used for analysis purpose. The analysis is done on ATAB software and the results are discussed. Keywords analysis, ATABs, frame, infill wall, masonry, non-structural. I introduction. Earthquake is shaking of the ground in haphazard manner both horizontally and vertically due to sudden movement in the Earth's tectonic plates. This shaking may result in the destruction of buildings and break the Earth's surface. The seismic activity of an area defines the frequency, type, and size of the earthquakes experienced over a period of time. The areas in seismic zones are prone to severe damages. Masonry is a commonly used material in developing countries like India. Masonry infill walls are equivalent to compressive struts and generally consists of bricks or concrete blocks constructed between the beams and columns of a reinforced concrete frame. Masonry infill walls basically serve as partitions in buildings. The infill walls are considered as an architectural or non-structural element and their design guidelines are not mentioned in the present IS code, IS 1893-2016. In traditional practice it is considered that infill walls do not take any loads and therefore the resistance of walls is generally ignored in the design guidelines which may lead to an unsafe design. But it has been observed that frames with MI walls contribute significantly, in terms of enhanced strength and stiffness under earthquake-induced lateral loading. The lateral deflection and bending moments are reduced in an RC frame consisting in fill wall, thereby decreasing the probability of collapse. In high-rise buildings, the vertical loads such as dead load and live load do not pose much of a problem, but the lateral loads due to wind or earthquake quivers are a matter of great concern and need special consideration in the design of buildings. These lateral forces can set up undesirable vibrations as a result of horizontal and vertical shaking. Therefore, it is necessary to evaluate the effects of MI walls on the load-resisting capacity of RC frames. Infill walls or panels can be modeled using different methods such as equivalent diagonal strut method, equivalent frame method, finite element method, etc. To aim. The aim of the research is to study the effect of masonry infill wall on RC frame building using response spectrum method on ATABs. Three research objectives. 1. To study the effectiveness of masonry infill to resist seismic forces. 2. To analyze the building using response spectrum method on ATABs software. 3. To study the results of various parameters such as story drift, displacement and deflection. For methodology. First the grid line plan is prepared in A tabs. Dot the materials like concrete, rebars are defined. Dot frame sections as beams column slab shear wall strut are defined. Dot properties of slab, beams, columns, shear walls and strut are assigned. Dot define the static load cases and load patterns. Dot assign the loading as dead load live load seismic loads dot assign the support conditions as fixed and analyze the see response spectrum method response spectrum method is also known as linear dynamic analysis method multiple mode shapes of building are considered in this method the contribution from each natural mode of vibration is measured which indicates the maximum seismic response of a structure the maximum values of member forces and displacements in each mode of vibration is calculated in this method. De analysis of model. The prepared model is analyzed for identifying the effect of masonry infill wall to earthquake resisting buildings. Analysis is done by response spectrum method using A tabs. This is the accurate method of analysis. Load patterns used 1 dead load, 2 live load. 3 seismic load, EQX. 4 seismic load, EQY. 
V results. A modal analysis. 6. Conclusion. To analyze the effect of infill masonry wall on the response of multi-story RC framed building the dynamic response spectrum analysis is carried out, based on the results following points are concluded. From the results of the response spectrum analysis, it was concluded that the RC framed building with infill walls has good resistance to earthquake and can sustain the vibrations due to earthquake. Based on the study of seismic analysis, following points are summarized. 1. In the modal analysis as the modal mass participation of the highest mode is more than 90% thus it indicates the stiffness is more. 2. The masonry infill walls reduce the time period in modal analysis. 3. It can be observed that the maximum displacement against earthquakes and the interstory drift ratio is very less because of infill walls as compared to the bare frames. 4. From the graphs of response spectrum analysis in X direction and Y direction it was observed that the displacement is lesser because of stiffness. Thus, the masonry infill walls in RC framed buildings make the structure more stiff for earthquake excitations and can be used to reduce the lateral deflection.